Call of Duty just revealed the season 4 load and update roadmap and it includes the return of an iconic weapon, multiple new game modes and plenty more. First of all let's talk about the release date for season 4 load update. Season 4 load update will officially go live on June 26th at 9am pacific time which means just under 2 days left so the update is almost here. As always let's start off with the multiplayer side of things. First of all multiplayer in the season 4 load update will be getting a new core 6v6 map which is called incline and will be taking place in the snowy mountains of Urzakistan and it's gonna be a small to mid-sized map. Following that we move on to the weapons that will be releasing in the season 4 load update. To be specific there will be two new weapons, one of them a returning iconic weapon and there is none other than as they call it in Modern Warfare 3 the Reclaimer 18 or as we know it as from the previous Call of Duty games as the Spaz 12 shotgun. The description reads as follows. A tactical shotgun that can be fired in both pump action and semi-auto modes. Pump action provides superior range while semi-auto increase fire rate so the Spaz 12 is back in Modern Warfare 3 and you can fire it in two different modes that is absolutely amazing and it will be unlockable via a new sector in the season 4 battle pass just like all the previous season reload updates and you move on to our final weapon in season 4 and that is of course the sledgehammer it will be making its return once again as you guys know the developers of Modern Warfare 3 are sledgehammer games and it only makes sense for a sledgehammer melee to be making its way into Modern Warfare 3 and the sledgehammer will be unlockable via a new weapon weekly challenge. Following that we'll be seeing more new events that will be taking place during the season 4 reloaded. First of all we have the Altered Strain which will begin on June 26th so release day of season 4 load update and finish on July 24th. There will be 19 rewards in this event and it will work similar to how the current event the DNA event that is going on right now. You eliminate enemies they drop DNA samples you pick it up and you get reward for that. Our second event is called Retro Warfare and will begin on June 26th and finish on July 3rd. Now we will talk about what this event is all about later on the video there is some cool stuff stuff happening with this event. The Retro Warfare event will include 10 rewards. Our third event is called Vacation Squad. It will begin on July 3rd and finish on July 10th and it will include 7 rewards. And finally we have the return of Vortex Death's Grip which will begin on July 10th and finish on July 28th. This event will also include 10 rewards. Moving on, next up we have multiple brand new game modes that will be making their way into multiplayer. First of all we have a new game mode called Mutation Mode which is part of the new Altered Strain event that we just mentioned a couple seconds ago. The new mutation game mode pits one team of humans against a frightened selection of mutants across a most be of familiar game modes. So basically two teams, one humans, one gonna be mutants or zombies and once the match begins both teams must defeat the opposing side in a variety of tactical or grotesque ways. Teams switch sides at halftime, humans become mutants and mutants become humans and of course the team with the highest score at the end wins the whole match. Now in order for the humans team to stand a chance against the mutant, they will be working towards earning kill streaks to help them against the mutants. For every one player controlled zombie kill, you will receive one kill streak point and for every five non player controlled zombie kill, you will receive five kill streak points and the three main kill streaks are the SAE which requires six points, the remote turret which requires seven points and finally the big one the juggernaut which requires 15 points. When it comes to the mutants they will have special classes. The first class is called the mutated leper. Choosing this class will give you faster movement, increased melee damage and the ability to detect enemies around corners. And the second class is called the radioactive beast. The radioactive beast charges their enemies, shell shocks opponents while improving the health and move speed of their allies with a howl and can reveal nearby enemies on the minimap for the whole team. The third special class is called the contaminated sludger and they are capable of exploding in a large radius of mutant sludge obscure the field with a smoke grenade and eject a strong acid blast that deals close range damage and leaves pools of acid that hurt and slow the enemy and finally the fourth and final special class for the mutants is called the camouflage sneaker they can scramble toward the enemy with an electrified leap and disorient them with an EMP and during critical maneuvers you can activate your clock to become partially invisible for a brief time we move on to our second game mode and it is called Havoc now if you've played last year's Modern Warfare 2 then you all should know about Havoc, it's basically your normal 6v6 game mode but with a twist. Every time a team reaches a multiple of 12, so that means 12 kills, 24 kills, 36 kills and finally 48 kills, a new modifier will be implemented into the match changing how the match plays and basically no two Havoc matches will ever be the same. And if I say to myself this is definitely a very awesome mode to be returning. Next up we have of course headshots only and just as the name suggests you can only eliminate a player via a headshot. Continuing with multiplayer we have a new playlist modifier called the bit party and to be honest with you guys I think this might 
might be my favorite addition into Modern Warfare 3 so far. This thing is straight out of the 80s, okay? It turns your game, it turns Modern Warfare 3 into a 8-bit game. It is absolutely ridiculous, okay? In a good way, that is. In this playlist modifier, every time you eliminate an enemy, it will inflate your own operator's head with expansion head size of small, medium, and large. However, if you get eliminated, your operator's head will reset back to small. But this isn't only for the looks, okay? It's not only for the visuals. Having a larger head actually gives you bonuses. While yes, having a larger head makes you an easier target, but also the larger your operator's head gets, the more points you'll earn for eliminating players in team deathmatch, for picking up tags in kill confirmed, and holding the objective in hard point, and in domination, the bigger the operator heads gets, the quicker you capture the flag. I'm telling you guys, this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Amazing. And if you guys remember early in the video I mentioned a new Retro Warfare event, well this playlist modifier and the Retro Warfare event it intertwines together so playing the playlist modifier will make you earn those rewards in the event much quicker and also to go with that you will have a new Task Force 141 8-bit blitz bundle which turns Ghost Price, Soap and Farah into 8-bit characters but guess what it doesn't end there just yet because alongside everything that I just mentioned we will also begin a new favela map variant called the Bitvela man oh man just look at it it turns favela into an 8-bit favela just crazy okay absolutely absolutely crazy this new retro 8-bit playlist modifier is my favorite so far I haven't even played it but I know it's gonna be absolutely awesome moving on from that we have the return of the Vortex Mosh Pit playlist by now you guys all know what the Vortex playlist is is. Alongside that will also begin a new Das Gross map variant of Das House and to conclude with the multiplayer side of things for the season 4 load update will begin the return of the Get Higher Parkour limited time mode. Yes it is back bigger and much better than the previous one. The Get Higher mode will introduce a brand new map with longer and entertainingly more challenging course with multiple secrets to discover, collectibles to find and traps more dangerous than the previous map. However for those that manage to get higher and complete the map you will be rewarded with 3 brand new weapon camos. When it comes to multiplayer, that will do it. Now let's move on to zombies and to be honest with you guys, I don't even know what to tell you guys about zombies. In the whole of season 4 update, you'll only be getting a new unstable rift for zombies and that's it, nothing else. And to be honest with you guys, that is really really disappointing. And with that being said, now let's move on to the warzone side of content. First of all, we have a new point of interest update at the pop of power plant. The DNA bomb has exploded at the pop of power plant, destroying the whole area and opening new secrets, new tunnels and completely changing the way you approach the new pop of power plant point of interest. Moving on from that, we have new limited time game modes. We have the mutation resurgence quads and the mutation buyback quads. The description reads, with normal resurgence rules, this mode centers around dropping into the new vicinity of the newly destroyed pop of power plant and gaining victory by any means necessary. However, keep in mind both game modes, the mutation resurgence and the mutation buyback, will remove all tacticals and lethals from ground loot so you can focus on the new mutation powers that will affect your operator. There will be 7 different mutations and they are as follows. We have the bio shield, the dive bomb, the mutant leap, the toxic steam cloud, the sludge sling, the mutant clock and finally the mutant vision. And to finish off with the season 4 loaded update we have the new redacted weapons and basically there are weapons that will be found within the loot hot zones and bunkers and these weapons will be more powerful than your normal one because they feature more than the traditional 5 allowed attachments. Yes you heard that right these weapons will have more than just 5 attachments and the operators that manage to get their hands on one of these weapons will have the edge in combat. If I say so myself season 4 load update is actually looking very very awesome. You have the new AB playlist modifier, you have the new map for the get higher mode alongside the return of iconic weapons the season 4 load update is shaping up to be an awesome update but although that being said make sure to click the video on the screen right now to learn more about what will carry forward from one warfare 3 into black ops 6 thank you guys for watching this video